Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Jagsfan98 back again with another video, and I'm continuing my series on the top three breakout players of 2015 for each team, at least in my opinion, the top three breakout players. And so today I'm continuing the series with the Miami Dolphins, and let's go get started. My first player is second year wide receiver out of LSU, Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry is a really, really talented wide receiver. Everyone knows that. He's really quick. He's got great hands, just like his former teammate, Odell Beckham Jr. And the thing about Jarvis Landry is he really loves football. He's got a great work ethic, and he'll work really, really hard. And he's been working really hard to improve those rookie mistakes he made last year. And I think that'll make him a really good player. Now, um, teams will be focusing less on him because they've got players such as Kenny Stills, That'll take away the focus of the defenses and also Devontae Parker. And it seems that um, with those additions that Miami is shifting to a more pass-based offense. And with, um, par with Landry already getting over 100 targets, he's sure to get more this year. Jarvis Landry is a great talent, and I really think he's going to be successful. His success this season really depends on how well Ryan Tannehill plays this year, and I have confidence that Ryan Tannehill will have a pretty decent season. I don't see Ryan Tannehill as an amazing starter, but he'll have a solid season, and I believe with a solid season, Jarvis Landry will really be able to shine. Now my next breakout player is a really, really underrated player who not a lot of people talk about. See, I didn't know who he was until my friend uh, Ryan talked to me, and he's a uh, big Miami Dolphins fan. I didn't even know who he was until I brought him up and I looked up some film on him and he's really talented. It's defensive end Olivier Vernon. Olivier Vernon's going into his fourth year and over his past three years he's had 20 sacks. He's a really athletic defensive end. He's got a really good combination of power and speed. Now he's mostly a power rush defensive end but he'll get a lot less focus on him because of the additions of Indomitian Sue and having Cameron Wake there. So he should definitely have a really big season and I'm looking I'm definitely looking forward to big things from him this year. He's very talented. Vernon really gets overshadowed in Miami because of Cameron Wake and what he's able to do and it's really understandable because Cameron Wake is a really good player. But when they have a lot of people that are going to be watching camera wake and a lot of people are going to be watching Dominic and Sue and they're going to game plan for those two with those two getting double teamed then uh, Olivier Vernon's got a really good shot to make a lot of plays this year when he's already had pretty good production over the past three years look forward to big things from him and keep your eye out for him now my last breakout player is a very very little known player he's a linebacker from Cal. It's his second year in the NFL. He was an undrafted free agent last year, Chris McCain. Now, a lot of people don't know about Chris McCain because he was an undrafted free agent last year, and he was really on the bubble. He didn't get much playing time last year at all, really. He really only got special teams work, and he was really only highlighted by one play, and I can show you that one play um, in a bit. But he's since he didn't get a lot of playing time, I can't show you guys very many clips. But yeah, last year he was an undrafted free agent on the bu on the bubble, and people didn't even think he would make the roster. But not only did he make the roster, but he was able to he was able to have an impact on special teams. And then this year he's the favorite to start at the outside linebacker position because of the loss of Danell Ellerby and Philip Wheeler. Now that opens up a spot for him, and we will, we will be able to see what he can actually do in that spot. But a lot of people have been talking about his improvement throughout Dolphins camp and how his work ethic has really improved. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he's able to do. All right, now, instead of ending the video here, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to add something new to this series. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few clips, one like one or two clips of each of the players, and I'm going to show you a few, just point out a few things of what I think that they do really, really well and what will make them successful next season. Now, just to break down a little bit of film, get a little bit better depth so you guys can really see what I've been talking about more so than just those clips I talked over. Now first off I'll start with Jarvis Landry. Now this here wasn't a huge play but Landry runs a really good route and gets him for the score and this is why. He catches a ball that most people let get into their body with his hands, makes a quick move, Easy touchdown. Great quick. Now here we're looking at Olivier Vernon with a great spin move against Sam Young and getting an easy touchdown on Blake Bortles, sadly, against my Jaguars. But yeah, and he here he is again. He recognizes the play really quickly, shows great pursuit, and is able to make the tackle on Denard Robinson in the backfield for a great play. Now here's the block punt that highlighted Chris McCain's season. He gets in virtually untouched and makes a great block with great speed on that play, and that's a skill that a lot of linebackers really need. 
All right, guys, those are my three breakout players for the Miami Dolphins. If I miss anybody, feel free to like, um, comment, subscribe, and leave the guy who I miss in the comments. Or if you agree with me, um, put in the comments. Leave your predictions for your for uh, these players or any other players in the Miami Dolphins in the comments. And um, thanks for all your support, guys. Um, again, if you if you feel free to like, comment, subscribe, that would be great. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.